Uh, the show is called uh, Chance Encounters, which is, of course, something you have to think of, you know, six months before you... And, but I think the chance refers to the, uh, the, the element of chance that I use in my work. Um, there's a real deal of um, chance. I call, it, I call it, though, mannered chance. So I suppose it's an, aff an affected chance. Uh, but chance, nevertheless. So um, uh, I, I will use the 2D works, the paintings, which I call drawings with paint, really, because not because they are drawings in the real sense, I suppose, though I don't know about that, but I, I think I think like a drawer, a product of the VCA drawing department. Um, like it, but, it's a, but not just that, but it's, 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 it's immediate. It's uh, unchangeable. Uh, you know, what you do is what you're stuck with. So, so I do, in, in, in some of these works, uh, use uh, a, a type, my own type of uh, marbling process uh, to, um, uh, but it's a very wild process. So I have limited things. So I will decide the shape, uh, the palette, and, uh, and in this case, even the price. <laughs> but also I also decide the edit. So there is a sort of expression there, but it's in a different way. And, and so and I decide a type of look. Um, but that's, I, li I always have drawn to this because it's a type of anarchy. Um, I kind of, uh, as I heard, reading something recently, a, 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 like a, um, a laughing truth, but mm, I won't go into that. Um, now with the sculptures, the sculptures sit the same way. I would think that you couldn't imagine this room would be the, read the same. So I always treat the exhibition as one show, like it's, it's one installation to me always. Um, if you imagine the room without the sculptures, it would be quite a different th thing um, or, or if you imagine a room just the sculptures and no images, uh, read, the whole thing would read quite differently. They are very, they are very much linked together. Now the sculptures are actually their base materials. A polystyrene is a type of holding device in plinth, and a and and a, and a type of the resin used in fiberglass. And what I what I do is. I get a large, very large block of uh, polystyrene. Now, one of the I did was about three meters high, and I climb up on the ladder and I pour some horrible solvent into it, which just dissolves the, make these holes just dissolves the polystyrene, which of course is likely to, you know, you'll never have children if you do that, or you'll die from some terrible growth and something. Anyway, so um, I and, and dissolves and that, that evaporates and disappears somewhere. And, and, and I'm left with this unviewable, this unviewable, unknowable hole. And then and into that I pour the, the hardening stuff and I turn it all up from which way and get it all over me and put my head in there and try to paint it as much as I can. And, you know. but, no, but all the same, I, I get, and then I let that harden and then I spent the next week chipping this bloody stuff off. It's like a type of archaeology. In fact, I think I refer to that in the titles, uh, it's like a future archaeology because we're dealing with more, more very industrial artificial materials and I, and I chip it off with the back of the hammer like this and I clean it all up and eventually I um, uh, yeah you're left with this thing but I leave I leave what it which is, which is I leave part of the polystyrene which is emanated out of to almost uh, you know to tell you its history I'm not trying to trick anybody about anything and I like the idea of that this is what I'm left with this is kind of like a it's like the model of a hole. It's not the outside of a hole, but nor is it the contents. It's the liminal space which exists between a hole and what isn't. And it's a chance sculpture. Some of them look like, kind of like the Burgers of Calais, so I call it the new Burgers of Calais, but I don't title them really. And, uh, but I like to let the imagination roll, you know, roam as to what they could be. They could be like old modernist sculptures, or they could be like, you might think of them as that beautiful work of Michelangelo when he chips out the lovers in each other's arms, but, but, it, but half of them are still embedded in the great ton of uh, marble. And so, uh, no, I don't know, I'll compare myself to Michelangelo. <laughs> 
but I like the view, like the whiteness of the of the marble and these things, which seems to people have, 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 have been drawn out of them. Yeah, like a discovered, discovered, discovered beauty. Yeah.